I'm definitely going to be that aunt that just sits in front of the house and just watches shit and just waits for shit to happen. You know, so-and-so is sleeping with so-and-so. Mm-hmm. And so-and-so's cousin broke into so-and-so. Mm-hmm. I saw it. I saw it. Hello, guys. Welcome to As If The Podcast with your host, me. Asia, my queen, that is me, that is she, I am where I want to be. Let me show some of my thickness, because, like, this camera ain't trying to give me a no, like, okay, don't fucking play with me. You see that hip? You see that hip? Anyways, how's everyone doing today, tonight, whenever you are watching I am doing okay. I am doing okay now because I'm getting fucking pissed. I'm getting so pissed. Um, the reality about doing podcast or doing anything by your fucking self is the fact that there's always something. It's always something. It's always something. Whether this gets broken, you got to replace this. That gets broken, you got to replace that. That's running slow, so you got to wait. This is showing up, so you got to wait. I'm just, I'm tired. I'm tired. This is like the 10th take. First take, my vagina's out. Like, I'm just like, you know what? It's just, it's a full-time job being a pop star, but by yourself. Like, being a broke pop star, like, what the fuck? I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask for this. I didn't. It's just who I am. I'm a, I'm a pop star. So it comes, there's a lot that comes with being a pop star, and it, sometimes it's hard to keep up by yourself. How the fuck am I a pop star? No money. Bitch, like, what? A pop star, no money. Pop star, no money. Hey. Pop star with no money. Like, it takes a lot to maintain me, but I ain't got it. How the fuck does that make sense? How the fuck does that make sense? <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. I I didn't I I didn't mean to put all of this on you. I didn't mean to put all of this on you. I know you have your own issues or or whatever that is, but you know what? It's 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 my turn. It's it's my turn. Okay. I'm frustrated. So I had a good time on Thanksgiving. I had a great time on Thanksgiving. Saw some people I ain't seen in a long time. It was great. It was amazing. Got drunk. But the good drunk. You know what I mean? The one where you're feeling yourself. I was you can tell by the way I went no walk, I'm a won't eh, no time to eh. You know, I was feeling myself. You know, one of those. I was laughing, making jokes, like, oh, hey, mama, grandma. Like, you know, I was feeling it, feeling myself. So the, the good drunk, the fun drunk, the loud drunk. And I was like, wow, I get to sleep in tomorrow. And, this, you know, just just feeling myself. Woke up, 10.30. I do not sleep in past, I would say, 9 usually. Like, if I slept till 9, then I was like, wow. I slept in. So, I s woke up at 10.30, looked at my phone. There was a text message from my boss. Hey, what are you, where are you? I haven't seen you logged in. I thought I was off. I called her. I was like, hey, like, what's going on? Like, why would I be logged in? She was like, no, like, Black Friday isn't a holiday. So 
I had so many plans. I, I was going to go to the gym. I was going to go sit at the park, meditate, read, edit some videos. I was going to have a really creative day. So I had to jump on the computer and get to work. A broke pop star. You know, I was just, you know, as I was typing, I was like, wow, wow. Could you guys imagine Britney Spears working in your office? Like, imagine you're sitting there typing in your cubicle and you look over and Britney Spears is doing the same thing. Can you imagine that? Yeah, it's me. It's me. But anyways, um, I did what I had to do because... Um, Bills need to be paid. Things need to be paid. Um, I'm getting my car fixed. You know, you know how I told you guys I have a hoopty. And it was just, I don't even want to fucking talk about it. I don't want to fucking talk about this shit. You, you should see my car. It's literally a fucking tragedy. It's a tragedy. It's a tragedy. You could hear it coming down from miles and miles away. Like, if you start hearing, if you, okay, let's just say you're sitting outside, you're smoking a cigarette. I don't know. Do you guys smoke cigarettes? You guys better not be smoking no damn cigarettes. You're smoking a cigarette, and you hear, <laughs> just know I'm coming. I'm coming. It's me. It's me. It's a tragedy. But I'm getting that fixed, period. Period. So, you, yeah, don't, don't look down on me. I can't wait to be able to look down on people because like right now, like I can't act like I'm better than anybody. My, you should, you should see the shit. You should see the shit. No self-respect. <laughs> um, moving on. So we've got topics today. Remember I told you guys we're doing topics. I'm having things organized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I, that's me. That's me, baby. So I had, I don't know if you guys have watched this, but it, it's a show on Netflix. It's like about it's about stalkers, right? And they're interviewing people who have stalked people. Some of those people are in jail where they definitely belong. So we're not advocating for any of that. Which made me think. I feel like romantic comedies, a good romance novel promotes stalker behavior they promote stalker behavior and they make it seem like if someone isn't doing things to cross your boundaries then that means they care about you so if you tell this person that you don't want to talk to them and then you're at work and they show up to your job and that means they love you like oh my god I cannot believe he bursted into my meeting with flowers telling me to forgive him. He must love me. They made us think that that was okay. They made us think that people blowing up our phones w when we tell them to stop talking to us. They make it think that that's, that shows how much they care. And I know I, I don't want to, I could compare the two, the men in the show who are in jail for literally breaking into a woman's house and, and, and killing one of the people that were in the house. So I'm not comparing you guys to those people, but I am, I am. What I have the issue with is how they told women to accept when someone crossed our boundaries and how we know someone loves us is if they cross our boundaries. And I'm here and I'm here to tell you this. If I tell you I don't want to talk to you and you continuously try to talk to me, that's going to make me not want to talk to you even more. I'm not that type of girl. I'm not that type of friend. I'm not that type of anything. I am not going to tell you, do not talk to me. 
but I really want you to chase after me. No, 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 no. I'm not that type of person. If I do not want to talk to you, if I do not reply to you, that means I do not, do not want to talk to you. It doesn't mean like, oh, I want to be chased after. Like, come on, chase after me. No, no. I think I'm just at a different point in my life. When I was younger, when when I was when I was 16, 17, I thought that shit was cute. I thought it was cute if someone blew up my phone. I thought it was cute if someone repeatedly tried to hit me up or tried to call me and stuff like that. And, you know, me give them the, oh, no, 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 no. If I want to talk to you, I am going to reach out to you. I am going to reply to you. I am going to answer the phone. I am going to reciprocate that energy. I am not going to make it seem like I don't want to hear from you, but I really do, right? Um, so that means if I say don't talk to me or if I don't reply, then that just means don't talk to me. That doesn't mean to keep coming after me. So if you are doing things like showing up places that I'm at or calling me repeatedly or texting me repeatedly, that means you are crossing my boundaries and it's giving stalker. And I know a lot of us like to think that stalkers are the weird white boys who have funky glasses and hide behind bushes and stuff like that. No, it's the fine nigga up the block. It's, it's, it's home girl with the nice ass body. Like it's everyday people like that's giving stalker, but some people like to make it seem like it's love or it's a form of passion. No, it's giving mentally ill. I'm sorry. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I don't mean to be rude. Okay. I'm not going to be rude. Let's, let's, let's work that. Let's, let's work it down. Let's work it down. But it is giving, it's giving stalker. But the thing is, is that I've done that. <laughs> I've shown up to people's houses. I've called people repeatedly. I've had my friends call them repeatedly. I've called people on star six, seven. I've made an account. No, I've never made an account. Oh my God, <laughs> what? I am a liar. I've made so many accounts. Oh my God, I was about to lie straight to you guys' face. Um, I've made accounts. I've done all of that. And that's a red flag. That's a sign of abandonment issues. That's a sign of you need to go to therapy. It's not a good sign. It's not, it doesn't mean that this person cares and stuff like that. Because I guarantee you, if they're doing that to you, it's going to get tiring and they're going to do that to somebody else. It's uh, you're not special. Oh my god, sorry, but you're not. You're not special. No one was special. I've done <coughs> I've had people do that to me and move on and I've never heard from them again. So it's not you that they are just so enthusiastic about. It's their lack of boundaries. It's their lack of respect for themselves because I'm sure those people are are accepting to people who are like that with them. Um, if I say no every time, it means no. If I act like no every time, it is no. There is no reading anything into me. Um, but what I'm saying is the fact that movies and TV shows make us think that when people cross our boundaries, that means they love us. And I just don't want any of you to get caught up in that and thinking that someone cares because they cross our boundaries. Oh, well, I told him not to, so he did. That means he cares. No, that does not mean he cares. It just means he doesn't respect you or himself. That means she doesn't respect you or himself or, or herself or they don't, whoever it is, they don't respect themselves or you. So um, I don't want you to blur those lines. Um, Uh, I sorry, not blur those lines. I don't want you to get those two mixed up, right? So, um, yeah, it is stalker behavior. It um definitely is stalker. Like I said, just because they don't have the weird bowl haircut and the fucked up glasses doesn't mean that they're not 
a fucking weirdo and they're not capable of doing something really, really damaging that you or someone else can't come back from because I've heard some stories. I've heard some stories. I, I know someone who broke in to someone else's house and killed somebody. Like I know that person, that person, like I know that person personally. So it's just, I just don't want you guys to get that mixed up. So if that is happening to you, catch on to that behavior and try to get away from that as much as possible. Um, yeah. Anyways, moving on. Um, I want to talk about how people are not obligated to like you. And it's not a reflection of them. It is a reflection of them, but that does not make them a bad person. It does not make you a bad person. It just makes you to incompatible, right? So I was thinking about this, and I'm going to need you guys to really follow me, okay? Come on. Lean in, lean in, lean in. I want you to really, really, really follow me on this one. Because <clears throat> I really want to explain myself in a way that's like, oh, boom, right? I don't want to go around. I don't want to go down. I want to go right through it, direct. So there was, there's a gentleman on TikTok that was talking about how the person who's throwing the birthday dinner should pay for the birthday dinner for everybody. Okay. So. He's a very popular guy. So funny. I love him as a creator. He's awesome. I, I love his videos. But people went insane. Oh, my God. I'm like, okay. All right, guys. All right, guys. Can we take a couple deep breaths? So this story is really old. But as you follow me, you're going to understand why I am bringing this up okay so people were going crazy on him oh my god you are so privileged you have the money that's why you act like that what about those of us who don't got money what about da 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 da, da? and I'm just like oh my god then I came across a video of a girl who said she, she said something like shut up because people are going to stop liking you Okay. And I was like, so is that why we do what we do is for people to like us? Like, should you only do something just so people can like you? Should you only have a view on something so people can like you? Is that what we're doing here? And I had to reflect. I'm like, is that what I'm doing here? It, are, are we doing things? Are we acting in ways for people to like us? Are we believing things, voting on things so other people could like us? And in ways it's like, of course, because human beings love community. We love a sense of home and people who agree with us, that's who we feel should be a part of our community. If you don't agree on my views on A, B, and C, then you are not a part of my community. And I'm like, what the fuck? And to a certain extent, I believe, you know, because I ain't just going to invite anybody, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the R words and the all, all, all those people. No, 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 no. You're not in my community. I'm sorry. You're going, you, I'm not sorry. You're just going to have to get into a R word community. Y'all going to have to get on an island and, and go to hell. Like, yeah. But something as simple as birthday dinners is what's going to get someone to like and not, not like and like and no, no like. We value people liking us way too fucking much. Way too much. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So I should have a certain view on birthday dinners so people can like me. 
What are we doing? What are we doing? I was like, what the fuck? Like, are we really supposed to just think a certain way so everybody can like us? So then what makes us individuals? What makes us ourselves if we don't build a person or or become somebody that is from our own I should say from our own um from permission f- from permission from ourselves if that makes sense. I don't think that makes sense. Okay. Um let me let me, let me dial that down. <laughs> When are we going to give ourselves permission to be a specific way instead of morphing ourselves into being someone that other people are going to like? I understand to a certain extent because I do think human beings naturally want community. They want friends. They want they want someone else to love. We want to love. We want you know what I mean? We want people to care about. We want people to care about us. But when does when does it get to a point where We create who we are from our own onus. You get what I'm saying? Like, when are we going to be who we are because that's who we truly feel we want to become? Because this whole, oh, I'm not going to like this person because this person doesn't like wigs. I'm not going to like this person because this person gets micro links and 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 doesn't get lace fronts. I, I just can't do it. I can't deal with this shit. I cannot deal with this shit. And this is first world problems, okay? Okay. It's a, and th- these are issues that I personally do not have. You know what I mean? Um, I don't deal with any of this. It's just I like to be observant and just watch. I guess that's how I get some of the ideas on what I talk about because I'm so observant. Like, what's going on over there? What's, it, what's happening over there? You know what I mean? I'm definitely going to be that aunt that just sits in front of the house and just watches shit and just waits for shit to happen. You know, so-and-so is sleeping with so-and-so. Mm-hmm. And so and so's cousin broke into so mm-hmm. I saw it. I saw it. You know, I I I, I want to be that. I want to be that aunt. And I already know I'm literally morphing into that aunt. I'm so observant of what's going on. And um I always try to find a deeper meaning as to why people are like this. Because I looked through the girl's comments and nobody was saying, why should he care if anybody likes him? Why is this a big deal? Like, why why is somebody liking you such a big deal? Why is someone liking you or not liking you such a big deal? Why do we feel this way? And like I said, I get it to a certain extent. But we should not give a fuck whether someone likes us or not because of how we view birthday dinners. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am so, so sorry. But we start to follow little things like that just so we can be liked by everybody else, knowing that we don't even want those things. If you're someone that's like, I want to pay for birthday dinner. But everybody else around you is like, no, I want everybody to split birthday dinners. Get around people that want to pay for birthday dinners like you. (laughs) You get what I'm saying? And But we allow such small shit to separate us. You get what I'm saying? We allow such dumb shit like that to, to determine whether we like somebody or not. Like, come on, guys. Like, It, it's really ridiculous. And I just use that one thing as an example because that was just the most recent thing that I could think of. But you going out your way to not like someone over something so small like that 
continues to create an atmosphere of us separating ourselves from one another. And let me just say this. No one wins when the family feuds. No one. We are so much better the closer we are. And I get some things, like I said, you got to get the fuck, okay? The R words, the 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 A words, you know, the music, all that shit, you could get, okay? That's just where I draw my boundary. But I'm not going to allow small things like that to separate me from somebody else and, and get me into rage and be like, that's why nobody likes you. It's like, okay, who gives a fuck? Like, why is everybody not liking me such a big deal? And also, why are you so quick not to like somebody over something so small? I don't know. I might not even make fucking sense when I say this, but yeah. Okay. So we are going to end this episode with a QA. and a I know I said I was going to do three topics, but I feel like I'm becoming a really, really chatty patty. Okay. Let me turn this on my thing. But so I'm just going to end it with three Q&As. Okay. So the first one is, what's the stupidest thing you thought as a kid? So the first thing that comes to my mind is the fact that I thought that we were rich for a second because my mom was buying QT slushies. And if you guys don't know what QT is, if you're in another state, QT is a convenience store. So like a 7-Eleven, a Circle K, like a gas station type of shit. And they have slushies inside that are like, 85 cents or some shit like it's super cheap no I'm bugging it's not 85 cents it's like a dollar oh nine or some shit <clears throat> and I would see my mom have one and I'm like oh my god I think I think we're up like I really think we're up not realizing that sometimes it is a blessing when you got that dollar when you find that dollar under your under your driver's seat or whatever you'd be like wait hold up and I also want to say this, guys. Um, this is not a way to communicate with me. You get what I'm saying? Like, someone said, what are you doing this weekend? Nigga. Please. I I, I want to do Q&As to, to communicate that way. I, I ain't, what are you doing this weekend? Oh, I don't know. Come on, please. Um, another one says, have you ever gotten in a fist fight? I have never gotten in a, f ooh. See, why am I such a fucking liar? Oh, my God. My first instinct in my brain is like, oh, lie. And it's like, what the fuck? Um, can I tell you guys a story? Okay, so in the seventh grade, I decided to prank call my teacher. But while I was in the class, so I would dial the number, star six, seven. And during class, he would answer the phone and he was getting so frustrated. Like he was trying to teach the class, but the phone kept ringing. A couple classes later, I get called into the principal's office. She's like, I heard you were trying to prank call the teacher in class. So you're going to have this amount of days that you have to sit in the class during recess, whatever. And I'm like, what the fuck? How did she find out? Like, nobody really knew other than me and my two, three other friends. So word gets around that, oh, no. Oh, my God. I cannot believe this. Okay. When I'm walking out of the principal's office, I see my cousin. And I'm like, she was the one who told. Oh, my God. I was so pissed. And guess what, guys? We shared a room together. When I tell you, 
The house was crazy that day, okay? I'm washing dishes. We're just going in on each other. She was like, you're a bitch. And I'm like, you're a bitch. We're both Leos, by the way. So, like, who was going to win? Who was going to lose? Like, it just depended. And I am a lot bigger than her. So I was going to whoop her ass. Like, we actually, by the way, we are born the same day. She's just 30 minutes older than me. So, and we're both Leos. So it was about to go down. So I'm like, fuck this bitch. Like, I'm cussing and my grandma's there and everything. And I never cuss in front of my grandma. Like, I do not like doing that. So I'm like, fuck this bitch. She's like, fuck you, bitch. We're both, <laughs> we're both 13 years old saying, fuck you, bitch. Like, what the hell? So I just stomp up the stairs. I'm talking shit. I'm like, da 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 She slaps me in the face. I, I turn into the Hulk. I picked up a chair, slammed it on her head. She punched me. I picked another thing, slammed it on her, punched her. I w- we were fucking each other up. So then my grandma comes, and she's like, stop, 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 stop. And I'm like, okay, I- I'm going to stop. I don't like doing anything in front of my grandma. I want to be respectful. She- my grandma's smaller than me. Like, come on now. I'm not going to do that. So then I stopped. Why did my cousin fake a kick but then really kicked me with the other leg straight in my stomach. I was like, oh! Bro, this was, it was just terrible. It was so bad. It was so bad. Having us in the same room was not a good idea. It just was not. It was not. That wasn't the only time we had fought either. Like, it was bad. It was bad. I love you, cousin. But we were bad as hell. Um, last question. Uh, Okay. Last question is, do you love your life? Why are you in my business? I'm joking. Do I love my life? I am appreciative. I'm grateful. Do I love my life? I want to come back to this question. I do. I do want to come back to this question. Do I love my life? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. (laughs) so but majority of times I don't so I could say no but I think I, I do think I am going a good direction where I am going to where eventually I am Eventually, I'm going to love my life. And I think it's just going to take some time getting closer with God, getting closer with my loved ones. It's going to take some time with, and until I get into a better place, I think. Eventually, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. But I think for now, I just am still understanding. I'm still really confused. I still have so many questions that I'm not being patient with myself where I just don't understand some things. And I really want to understand them. And I'm not being patient with myself. And eventually I will be because I don't think I'm going to understand fully what I want to understand, but I'm going to be more patient. I, and that's what I've been practicing, um, is patience. And, um, I do think that I'm going to be happy and love myself more, love my life more. I should say when I am more patient. 
you know, when I'm able to just be patient. Yeah. So, mind your business. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. But when I'm able when I'm able to feel that sense of patience and, and, and peace, I do think I'm going to love my life more. But I am lacking peace right now. <laughs> I am. I am. Because, like I said, I'm trying to understand some things that I just don't get. I don't get them. So, yeah. Um, we're going to end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys so much so so much next episode is going to be longer um i'll have more time next week but until then i will see you later thank you guys so much for listening thank you for watching i think i already said that oh my god i did um i'm just so i'm just so appreciative okay i'm in i'm i'm, I'm in a grateful spirit um follow me on instagram follow me on tiktok twitter uh, subscribe to my channel, Asia, my queen everywhere. Thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you for watching. This is the third time I said that you're out. Bye-bye.